Hi, and welcome to our jewelry and silver presentation for the May 15th auction, which will take place on a Monday. There are over 200 lots of jewelry and silver, so get set, we'll go quickly today. Here we have a monumental, presumably continental silver centerpiece, really beautifully designed with a attention to detail that have, don't see all that too frequently. This is estimated at 1,500 to 2,000. The lid does come off. Um, beautiful details throughout the entire piece with this dolphin form stem. Absolutely exquisite out of a Long Island estate. We have this pair of Peruvian sterling cockerels. Really quite nice, nice silver weight. We have an antique English silver mounted uh, framed mirror. Kind of a heart shape to the glass here. Quite nice, we have this Steiff uh, Heavy Repousse Sterling Flatware set. Again, a nice piece here. The full count is on our website. We have a 950 silver cruet set. What's really quite sweet are these stands for the caps or the lids, which is really quite nice. I like that piece quite a bit. Uh, we have an English silver mounted decanter. Really beautifully designed, nice attention to detail again. We have a pair of Continental reticulated or pierced bowls, 800 silver. We have an American Black Star and Frost for Gorham um, center bowl with pierced design to the edges and floral swags. We have a pair of Black Star and Frost candelabra, uh, slightly hand hammered finish, kind of a George Jensen mid-century vibe to these candelabra, which is quite nice, and they're estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. And now we will get into the jewelry, which we are heavy in gold this sale. We have this wonderful 18 karat gold chain with this drop pendant. This is an absolutely beautiful 18 karat gold continental cat form brooch that is playing with a pearl form ball. Really very sweet. 18 karat gold and turquoise beaded Italian necklace. Jump back to this 14 karat gold and diamond necklace a single round brilliant cut diamond to the central pendant. We have an 18 karat gold Victorian locket and a 14 karat gold chain. 18 karat gold Italian and garnet, or I'm so sorry, ruby bracelet at six to 900. One of my favorite lots in the sale, this is an 18 karat gold and enamel decorated floral form bracelet with a single diamond accent. And what is so sweet is this hang charm that actually you can alter the length and it's really so sweet and of the utmost quality. A thousand and fifteen hundred. Two pair of Victorian gold earrings. We have this 14 karat gold and diamond ring missing a few stones but really quite nice and this can be easily replaced. We have an 18 karat gold 19th century portrait of a little girl on a 14 karat gold chain. We have a 14 karat gold bug form brooch. The sweetest of pins or brooches here is this little 18 karat gold mounted Baroque pearl of a bird with a top hat on, it's sweet as can be. 14 karat gold split shank ring with a round brilliant cut center diamond. 14 karat gold and enamel decorated um, scrolling snake form ring. Really quite sweet, I like snake jewelry. Again, another Victorian piece. So we have a 14 karat gold pendant with a carved cameo of a beauty on a 14 karat gold chain. We have an Art Nouveau gro grouping, so this is a beautiful chain with diamond accents and seed pearls and a pair of Art Nouveau lady earrings with seed pearl accents and diamonds. A Pietra Dura Italian uh, jewelry casket or jewelry box. We have a 14 karat gold and opal ring signed Abrahamson. We have Italian 18 karat gold earrings and a very nice 14 karat gold colored gem and bezel set diamond ring. We have two gold and diamond rings. We have a 14 karat gold graduated chain necklace. We have three diamond rings. So we have a wide pierced band with diamond accents, a yellow gold ring in 14 karat gold, and a white gold ring in with diamond accents. We have an 18 karat gold Omega watch. We have an 18 karat gold and ruby bracelet. It is hinged. We have an 18 karat gold modernist ring with a central marquee cut diamond. We have a 14 karat gold double chain bracelet with a jurettier or buckle form closure in white gold with diamond accents. We have this beautiful, um, I believe this is Victorian and maybe this was later added. This is really very nice quality and I think it was later a later marriage of parts with this bracelet. But it has turquoise and diamonds. A pair of 18 karat gold and carved and polished stone earrings. We have this 14 karat gold charm bracelet with carved jade and kind of Hawaiian theme to the other pieces. There's a hula dancer, a lei, it's very, very sweet. 14 karat tricolor gold 
Hunter Gaze Pocket Watch with diamond accents. We have a 14 karat gold horseshoe form ring with diamond accents. Victorian style with blue enamel decoration and seed pearls. We have an emerald and diamond square face ring. We have a large 14 karat gold aquamarine and diamond ring. We have a Los Castillo silver plate suite with inlaid birds. So it is the sugar with spoon and a petite creamer. We have an 18 karat gold chain here, and this can actually be two bracelets or a necklace. We have two pair of 18 karat gold statement earrings, one in polished and Florentine finish and the other floral form earrings with mabe pearls. We have this wonderful antique art deco, old European cut and sapphire ring. Really very pretty. We have this 14 karat gold and jade dragon form ring, Chinese. We have this wonderful ring here, 18 karat with a single solitaire stone measuring approximately six millimeters. We have two 14 karat gold necklaces. We have this sweet, it's Cimento and it's 18 karat gold. Necklace is yellow gold. Bracelet is white gold and yellow gold, but a very nice sweet. 18 karat gold chain with three diamond accents tapered in size. We have this 14 karat gold large carved cameo of a beauty and she is very beautifully and very beautifully carved. Really quite nice. We have this 14 karat gold chain with a carved crystal seed pearl and ruby pendant and then it's accompanied by these ruby and diamond earrings. We have a wonderful 14 karat gold chain and it is suspending this beautiful 14 karat gold mounted carved cameo of two beauties. Uh, one of my favorite lots in the sales is a pair of micro mosaic earrings. So we have the drop earrings of beetles beneath water with tassel drops. Uh, jumping forward, we're going to look at this silver topped gold ruby and diamond bar pin. Nice antique example of jewelry. It's absolutely beautiful. We have this Chinese high carat gold chain bracelet. We have this 14 karat gold men's necklace. We have this beautiful enamel decorated uh, plaque in 18 karat gold with pearl and diamond accents on a 14 karat gold chain. We have this 14 karat gold art deco style necklace with the black enamel and diamond locket and beautiful diamond accents throughout the pierced chain. We have a single strand pearl necklace with sapphire and diamond clasp. We have this very large 18 karat gold Italian bracelet is tapered in width and it's really quite beautiful with these grape clusters and floral urn. From the Manhattan Estate, we have this en tremblant brooch of rubies, diamonds, and sapphires. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but it does wiggle or tremble. Um, this is a bicolor gold folate form brooch with sapphires and diamonds. This is a wonderful 14 karat gold chain suspending a 14 karat gold butterfly with rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and emeralds. We're going to jump back to this 14 karat gold suite with jade carved plaques, earrings, and pendant. This is really wonderful with this guilloche enamel locket with a single diamond accent and then this slide charm. Jumping forward to these two pens, we have two Parker pens. One is a fountain pen, one is a ballpoint pen. We have this double chain 14 karat gold bracelet. We have this platinum brooch with diamond accents. We have this two piece suite from our Manhattan estate um, with these wonderful pendants, well, similar similarities in the clasp and the brooch with the sapphires, diamonds, and rubies. Um, and then it's a triple strand pearl necklace. We have this single strand of graduated coral beads. We have this 14 karat gold Omega chain with the 18 karat gold pearl, diamond, and enamel pendant. It's absolutely beautiful. This pendant is just uh, extra special. We have this Cimento bicolor 18 karat gold men's bracelet with a single diamond accent to the clasp. We have this pair of 18 karat gold earring, but what makes this nice is you don't need a backing. The earring itself is the backing. So I just wanted to kind of show you the mechanism here is that it folds over into itself. Those are quite nice. Um, amethyst and 14 karat gold bracelet with diamond accents. A pair of green cabochon earrings with diamond accents. We have this Victorian style enamel diamond and pearl bracelet hinge. We have this Victorian style 14 karat gold slide bracelet. Moving on to some watches. We have Cartier, 18 karat gold. We have an Audemars, an 18 karat gold. Really quite nice men's watch here. This one is Movado. 
This one is a gold coin face. All of the details are on the website that Ken has written up so nicely for all of us. We have this wonderful ruby and diamond pendant or brooch. We have this retro bicolor, or actually tricolor, diamond and ruby brooch or pendant. We have this three-piece suite, so we have this pair of hand-hammered 14 karat gold scrolling earrings, 14 karat gold chain with this large sun pendant. So it's a nice oversized piece. Um, going into some couture costume, we have this, these two Chanel necklaces. So very long in length, perfect for summer with the double C logo. Moving on to some more gold, we have this 18 karat gold articulated bracelet, 14 karat gold chain bracelet, 18 karat gold. Um, this one does need a repair. This is 18 karat gold Italian. This one is 18 karat gold emerald and diamond statement ring, really quite nice. This one is 18 karat gold with this pave diamond set egg form or drop pendant, really quite beautiful, and this is at 1,000 1,500. We have this 18 karat gold toboga or stretch bracelet. A pair of 18 karat gold pierced earrings with diamond accents in the style of Buccellati. We have this Victorian 14 karat gold, um, green guillotine enamel, rose cut diamond, and pearl ring. We have this pair of diamond studs, about half a carat each. We have this pair of 14 karat gold Victorian hinged bracelets. This I love, it's deco, it's belova, diamond numbers, really quite sweet. Um, this is a signed brooch, it's 18 karat gold, and the artist's name is Henry Picot, I believe, uh, with sapphires and diamonds. This one is a, let me just look at the face here. Ken does do our watches, and this is a Jaeger Le Coulter with diamond accents. Here we have a platinum brooch. We have the sweet 14 karat gold and diamond retro ring. This is Myrna Lee Chang, and does have her card here, just this nice, unusual necklace. And this she describes as gray tiger's eye. Um, and then we have agate with this diamond inlaid flower. So you can see here it's a, looks like a tree or a flowering plant. Uh, moving on, this is Boucheron. This is 18 karat woven bracelet with ruby accents. We have two bicolor gold brooches, one with a pearl accent, one with diamond accents. We have this 14 karat gold locket with a single color gem and diamond accents on a nine, eight karat gold chain. We have this 14 karat gold articulated bracelet. Jumping forward to some more couture, we have this three piece Chanel suite um, at three to 500. We have this individually allotted pair of Chanel earrings with rhinestone double C logo. We have this pair of Tiffany and Company lion's head earrings, really quite nice in this Etruscan revival, kind of Greek style. We have this 14 karat gold ring with a carved crystal, emerald, and diamond accents. We have this signed 18 karat gold and diamond modernist bracelet. It is identified who the maker is on our website. 18 karat gold bicolor earrings. We have this pair of Chanel earrings, very large, 80s, 90s in the original Chanel box, quite nice. We have this Hamilton Ladies Watch, 14 karat gold in the original box with this guarantee certificate, which is always nice, all this accoutrements that go along with it. Roberto Coin hoop earrings. It's the love pattern, I believe, is the name of these earrings. We have this pair of emerald and diamond stud earrings, really quite pretty. We have this 18 karat gold brooch that is accompanied by a smaller brooch with the ruby accents. Tanzanite and diamond ring. We have this 14 karat gold Etruscan of revival ring. Pair of 18 karat gold pearl and diamond earrings. 14 karat gold bracelet. We have this 14 karat gold and silver top gold floral brooch with diamond accents. 18 karat gold eternity band with diamonds. We have this two piece suite, um, 18 karat gold with channel set rubies and diamond accents. Here we have a grouping of haute couture. So this is Trifari, this is Stanley Hagler, this is Christian Dior, and this is a nice statement brooch that is signed. We have this tricolor white rose and yellow gold bracelet, I mean chain, I'm so sorry, chain necklace, and it's really quite beautiful. Um, we have this large statement ring with carved crystal diamond accents and gold. We have this um, quadruple strand pearl necklace with the gold clasp and diamond accents. Here we have another grouping of Chanel jewelry. So we have a pair of Chanel earrings and then this beautiful Chanel necklace. And this one earring does need a slight repair, but that can be easily fixed. We have this Mousse Cartier watch with the original box. We have this Cartier La Donna watch. We have one of the stars of our show 
is this Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date Watch and it is Explorer 2 and it is estimated at six to 8,000. Moving on to another grouping of Couture. We have two signed statement necklaces and a VRBA statement brooch, very large in size. This necklace is included in a grouping and it is 950 gold and lapis. It's really quite pretty. This is a Ruth Frank necklace. And what's interesting is that it's accompanied by the original information of where she got the beads. Here we have one of several, and this is the smallest of the Judith Ripka lots. So this is six pairs of earrings, all mostly sterling with CZ accents, but really quite nice. There's monster groups of Judith Ripka. If you're a buyer for Judith Ripka and you love it, this is the sale for you. This is a pair of Robert Wander 18 karat gold and colored gem earrings. This is a 14 karat gold and pearl and diamond ring. It comes with a GIA scene and it is a culture diamond. This is a platinum lorgnette necklace with diamond accents. And then last but not least is my favorite lot of the sale. This is an Etruscan Revival Victorian bracelet, 14 karat gold with coral red and white enamel decoration with this globe form pendant in the center with rose um, old European cut diamond accents. Really beautiful, 1,000 to 1,500. This is just a selection of the jewelry for the sale, so check out our website. And we will see you on May 15th.